हाय फ्रेंड्स माय सेल्फ ऋतुजा फ्रॉम टीसी कॉलेज बारामती सो फ्रेंड्स वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट प्रिंसिपल्स ऑफ इफेक्टिव कम्युनिकेशन इफेक्टिव कम्युनिकेशन इज अ पार्ट एंड पार्सल ऑफ एनी सक्सेसफुल ऑर्गनाइजेशन अ कम्युनिकेशन शुड बी फ्री फ्रॉम बैरियर्स सो हैज टू बी इफेक्टिव कम्युनिकेशन इज अ टू वे प्रोसेस वेअर द मेसेज सेंड बाय द सेंडर शुड बी इंटरप्रिटेड इन द सेम टर्म बाय द रिसिपेंट क्लियरिटी इन आयडियाज appropriate language attention consistency proper time informality feedback and a few others these special facts are known as principles of effective communication the principles of effective communication are as follows first one is aim and object one must be clear about the purpose of communication do you want to warn your employees do you want to give a recommendation to your boss if one is clear about the aim and objective it will be easier to keep irrelevant and contradictory material out of the message second is a plan planned message planned message means the success of the communication is depend on the message sent by the sender so that will drafting message sender should be take care of simple message message should be always planned third one is a message should attract attention whether message is written and oral it should be attract and the receiver to render the message attractive it should be conveyed in a forceful loud and clear manner as far as possible having regard to the demand of the situation fourth is proper selection of medium a number of medias are available for communication but the proper selection of a medium which suits the sender receiver and the message should be selected all media cannot be equally effective in all situation fifth is proper time proper timing many messages fails to achieve the desirable result because they do not reach the person concerned at any appropriate time if the manager is busy or about to go out one should not enter his cabin for any personal work sixth is clarity clarity means the idea to be communicated should be in a clear manner it should be understandable positive and prizes form the idea should not be confusing it should be understandable to all level of the management next one is proper information one should pass the proper message will communicating the sender must be clear in his mind what to send and to whom it will be sent it is a process of systematic process of telling and listening next is consistency the action and behavior of the communicator must be consistent with the matter of communication the message should be consistent with overall objectives plans policies programs and procedure of the concern there should not be a gap between the communicator says and what he does otherwise the subordinates will lose loss faith in the communicator next is completeness the communication should be adequate and complete in all respect incomplete communication creates misunderstanding on the part of the receiver and result in the delay action which may spoil spoil the cordial relationship existing between the two next is flexibility the system of communication should be flexible enough so that it can adjust to the changing requirement of the organization concern the organization should be able to absorb new methods and techniques of the communication without much resistance last is feedback communication should be based on a two way process which provide sufficient opportunity for creative suggestions from the receiver's message i hope you guys understand thank you